Hey, what's going on? This is John Stewart, Alamo City Cello. And I have a student who's currently auditioning for um, various music schools uh, here in the United States. And so I wanted to make a video kind of giving him some advice and tips going forward. It'll be the first time that he's on his own living away from his parents. So uh, I think, you know, it's natural to be a little bit homesick at times, but um, that will fade over time and, you know, new a new sort of reality will, will set in that, you know, uh, that, that things will be a little bit different. So I wanted to give you uh, some kind of words of wisdom. And, and the first the first sort of thing, and it, it's more like a commandment of, of sorts, and that is be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others, too. Right. So just be nice. If, you know, if, if I had like a million dollars, I would I would make a million T-shirts with that. Just be kind, be kind. So, you know, that's that's really number one. And, and I think that's going to going to help in so many ways. Um, the second one is keep sight of what's really important to you, what's truly important. Keep sight of what's important to you. Right. So, I mean, ultimately, it's not about the grades. It's not about some contest, but it's about bringing, creating uh, an environment that celebrates life. Right. And uh, bringing people together. Uh, it's, it's really about sharing the beauty of music, isn't it? That's 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 what it's about. So um, and that kind of leads into the second point that I, uh, second thing I want you to think about. And a third, this is number three, actually. And that is be a facilitator, be a facilitator. Uh, music at its best is really a social event and it brings together both the creator and the witness. Now, sometimes the creator and the witness, well, they should be the same person. I mean, you know, you're playing down some Bach and you're like, wow, and you're really into it. But then at the same time, you're like, whoa, you know, you're kind of listening and creating at the same time. And I think something happens spiritually there too as well that you really feel a lot within live music. But be a facilitator. Be a facilitator. I, I think there's 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 a lot to that. I, I wrote some really stupid thing down here. I wanted to read this to you because it's stupid, right? It's like a falling tree gathers no moss. So I was trying to, you know, it's like, um, you know, A bird in the hand waits for no man, something like that. You know, you two things and you kind of combine. But anyways, it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? So we'll just move on from there. So, um, but be a facilitator. I think that's very important. Uh, number three, and this is also important, is see what's around you. Be aware of your surroundings. Be observant of your surroundings, right? So, I mean, of course, you know, when we're young, we're like children, you know, it's like you got to be taught like, look, you know, when you cross the street, you got to keep your eyes open. Right. But just and, but I think it goes even beyond that. Just a safety issue. It's like feel the room. Go in there and feel that room. Feel the, the total thing. Feel it all. And I think as performers, that's really important to feel the room. Right. So that, that that's kind of OK. Now, there was something else. And that is, and I think this is also really important, and that's appreciate art on its own terms. Appreciate people on their terms. Have empathy. Have empathy for others. You know, empathy is different from sympathy, right? Because you can feel sorry for somebody, but when you empathize, you see yourself in that person. You see yourself. Empathize. I think too many times as, as, as artists, you know, they'll say, like, I don't like his Bach. I don't like his Bach, right? So, yes, and if we come from our own point of view, we have really strong opinions on that. You can say, I don't like that John Stewart's Bach. It's weird, right? He's not, he's not doing a very good job of it. But see, I think you want to try to buy into my very special form of crazy, which but by and large is pretty kind, right? It's pretty nice, right? So in my life, I'm searching for this sort of balance between freedom and order, which is the same thing I see in Bach, right? It's that balance between the two. It should never sound the same every way, every time. I think there comes a point, a time in your life where you can just do it your way. Do it your way, baby. Just do it your way. And sometimes you gotta stick to your guns on that because you know teachers will tell you that's wrong. And I mean, what do they know? What do I know? What the hell do I know about Bach? Seriously. So I figure, you know, 
just say, okay, you know, keep keep with that. You know, of course, pitches and rhythms and intonation. You know, you can work on technical things, but there comes a point where you just gotta you gotta invest. You gotta invest yourself in that, and I think it is important ultimately to hear it from the audience's point of view. So have that objectivity. We're talking about being a good listener, right? Imagine like you're in the audience. What do you want to hear? If you were in the audience, what would you what would, what would be the feeling that you would give? What would be the takeaway from that? What's the takeaway? Right? So I think sometimes as artists we get so we get so detail oriented. We got to stay on we forget this is there's this there's grand design, isn't there? There's some sort of grand design, right? So I've talked a lot and kind of, you know, summing things up. I want to sum things up because, you know, I try to be a good teacher. I really do try. Okay, who's that? That's my daughter. Come here. Come here, fans. Say hello. You want to say something? Nine. Nine? Yeah. So what you up to? What have you been up to? Nothing. Yeah? So what is today, Fenya? Today is Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to be going headed over to the Don Strange Ranch a little later. And uh, we're going to see some lights out there. We're going to drive out. That'll be kind of fun, right? Yeah. Right? So you've been looking at music lately? You've been playing music? You practice your stuff for Mrs. Grund? Very nice. Miss uh, Darla Grund's her, uh, her piano teacher. And she's, a marvelous, she's doing a marvelous job with Finney. She's making good progress. How long have you been playing piano, Sweet Pea? Mm, I think over a month. Over a month, yeah. Right? So we got our little Casio keyboard, and it sounds pretty good. You can make all kind of different sounds, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of sounds does it make? Um, you can make cello sound, violin. Um, you could even make, um, you know how a helicopter sounds? Like that? And, um... Does it have any animal sounds? Yeah. Mm, animal sounds. Pretty cool. Very nice. We'll say bye-bye to the nice people. Right. Okay. And how old are you, Fenya? Seven. I know, but you're telling them. I know. But they, you know, people watch this video, they're going to say, how old is she? Right? I know that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you forgot how old I was. Oh no, I would never forget that. <laughs> you know what, sweet pea? Daddy loves you. Did you know that? Yeah. See, she knows that. That's good, right? And that's a good thing. Okay, adios. Say goodbye.